All right, let me show you this Jordan Peterson stuff. You're not going to believe what's happening with him. You become a better person. Here, we'll show you this intro. Okay, here we go. Better person. It. Should it be our life goal? And if not, what should we be seeking? Well, it shouldn't be our life goal. Um, because there are times in your life when you're not going to be happy. Okay, and they've got Jordan it. Peterson. I would say if people are suspicious of Jordan Peterson, maybe he shouldn't be wearing a pinstriped suit with a vest underneath. <laughs> I mean, come on. Doesn't this look a little evil? <laughs> I mean, why would somebody be like, hey, you know what you should wear? A maroon pinstripe suit with a vest and an evil tie underneath. That'll get your message across. So he's on Dr. Oz. He's talking. He's being calm. And three minutes into this thing, he starts to well up with tears. Three minutes in. And all he's doing is telling the same story he's been telling since that first Joe Rogan appearance. Nothing new here. 324. Watch this. Here, we'll start it back up. Watch this. Relied upon in a crisis. There's, there's, a, there's a name. You know, one of the things I've told I'm in Richmond, is, Virginia. Yeah, yeah, this yeah we've seen it. You should be here, watch this. the strongest person at your father's funeral. Right? Well, that's something to aim for. Here's it's a transition, a generational transition. And it means that, well, all the people around you are suffering because of their loss. What? They have someone to turn to who can illustrate by their behavior that the force of character is sufficient you know, to and, and move. And you got to see, it's, it's tough because you got to watch the whole thing. It's not like there was, no one else was getting emotional here. This is almost like daddy's medication is a little cockeyed. He's crying about everything. You know that? When somebody's uh, coming down off sound and their medication screwed up, they start just getting emotional about anything. He was doing this the whole interview here. Okay? This is it's starting to look like nobody in the audience, one of the audience was like, you know, dry eye. They needed clear eyes. Their <laughs> eyes are so dry. They all got uh, itchy dry eye in the audience here you beyond the catastrophe is this guy related to meet queen xander says yes it's dad <laughs> can you believe i feel like i know the petersons like they're a family i grew up with almost they're from alberta yeah wow alberta beef um yeah because we we know the meat queen so well then jordan peterson we barely know the wife well it's hard to know his spirit but uh <laughs> It does feel like we, I feel like I'm personally involved with this family somehow. And you need that. And that's a great thing to, that's a great thing to. Look at him. Hypothesize as your aim. And happiness AOL just AOL messenger as, as irrelevant in light of that You're sort of conceptualization. So when you are the strongest person Hold on, at your there's mom's more. funeral, and I just buried my father yeah. last month. Yeah. Oh, you buried your father. That's cool. So cool. Uh, here we go. 15 minutes. I think he cries a little more. At oh, this yeah. Part, he, oh, okay. Let's see. Wah, Look at me, queen. You know, he's thinking about that bitch daughter he has. So I, it strikes home that when you say that, should there be joy? around that realization oh, that should there be joy around that real oh how funny look at that happiness happiness like the fizzly bubbles in a in a, in a carbonated beverage flighty flighty they tickle your tongue but they go away is there a deeper joy because so many well you there's at least there's at least the sense that you've taken something that could be very much like hell and made it far better than it could have been Bean. and there's also the fact that you know if you deal with if you're if you've matured enough, let's say, to deal with the catastrophe of loss and death, that you can also be the rallying point for the remnants of your family and pull them together at a moment of crisis. Yes, to our dads. That's, that's a payoff to some degree for the ah. loss. And I mean, I've seen this in families who've dealt with death properly. Okay. The remainder of the- Let's go to 15 minutes because this gets real. This one was really bad here, right? And he cries through the whole thing. He's like sniffling. Sniffling. Choking up and Glassy. again, I've always noticed. I always go, Is he crying? You remember we watch his JRE? Is he crying or is this just his thing? 
So he is crying. He's like a very... I don't know what he's doing here. Is he trying to tap into like ultra passion to sell his story or what is it? Or is he this passionate about this stuff? What is it? Why does the man weep? Here we go. Oops. Wait, that's not Popped it. out. I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay. 15 minutes. Here we go. Uh, let's see the uh, second big weep. So that perhaps even the fact that, mortality is built into the structure now becomes justifiable i mean it's a hell of a it's a hell of an ambition but but i don't it doesn't seem to me to be something that's impossible i think you can live your life enough so that it justifies itself despite its limitation that's the real question can you do that and and i believe that you can and i believe that what that means is that the human spirit fundamentally triumphs over this is a death. big one coming up and so that's that's optimism you know in the midst of the the sorrow <laughs> soros and and the malevolence oh my god <laughs> the malevolence we have the capacity is that a disney capacity. film sorry don't be sorry. We have the capacity to transcend that. This and there is isn't crazy. anything more optimistic than that. This is a drug combo gone wrong <laughs> type of cry. Really? I mean, there's really no reason. He's just delivering his, you know, talking points that he's been doing for it's three like years. It's like the words sorrow and malevolence made him cry. There's no reason for him to be having a breakdown unless he's chemically cockeyed here. Let's see, there's a little bit more. Yeah, people are going nuts here, going, oh my God, I didn't think. <laughs> yeah, this is what's happening. And, and there's nothing... <laughs> there's nothing in it that Carnivore isn't... Carnivore tears, yeah, I like that. Good. Right? It's good for you. It's good for the people you love. It's good for the broader society. It's like it's good. And that'll take you through your times of travail... There isn't anything else that will. And then maybe on your deathbed, you can think. Uh oh. I justify my the privilege, <laughs> the terrible privilege of my existence. Oh my God. And maybe that's good enough. Is Owen Benjamin seen this? That that's good enough. You, you certainly enough. don't have, you certainly don't have anything better to do than that, as far as I can Full tell. Bullshit. We all got to find our burden. Dr. Pierce, I appreciate your passion for this. It sinks through and it's music as you poetically describe Look at these two big wigs in their suits. You put words to, to emotions most of us can't even touch. Thank you for being with us. You put words to emotions most of us can't even touch. Wow. Something creepy going on in that family. They're creepy and they're kooky. The meat queen is spooky. All right, I got to go make. You know what this means. Now, hey, you think you know, but you don't know. I'd open your ears this time. I got to go make. I'll be right back. Oh, shit. <laughs>